How are we tonight? A little quiet? I'm feeling a little blue myself. The, the drowsy chaperone is the name of a fictitious musical from the 1920s. It's a musical, actually, that is a spoof on a musical. There is a man who is listening to a record in his apartment, and as he listens and is explaining the record to the audience, in his mind, it's coming to life in his apartment. It's not literally, it is all what's happening in his mind, but the audience sees the record played out in his apartment. I play uh, Robert the Bridegroom. Uh, he's just a fun, overly enthusiastic, optimistic guy. <laughs> When I ask the director, uh, what's my motivation, and I know that's cliche to say, what's my motivation here, but I asked him and he said, well, just have fun and be charming. And I was like, okay, <laughs> can do. I am Kitty. She's a blonde chorus girl who wants to be a leading lady, though according to the producer, she does not have what it takes. And she is as flaky of a blonde as they come, but she tries, she wants to be a star. I play Mrs. Tottendale, who, well, Ukulele Lil and Mrs. Tottendale. Uh, Mrs. Tottendale is a dowager. She's also a widower, um, or a widow, and her husband passed away a long time ago, and she's hosting this huge wedding that she can't even remember. I have been the rehearsal accompanist. I'm gonna be the pianist for the show. Well, the music is a challenge, so that's fun for me. Um, and I just I think it's a really funny show. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be so funny, but I missed about five cues just because it was funny. <laughs> I first saw The Drowsy Chaperone uh, in the summer of 2010 in Agunquit, Maine, at a playhouse there. And I really didn't know very much about the musical. I had heard of it. I, it sounded like a strange title. Uh, but I had seen it and just immediately fell in love with that world. I fell in love with the humor and the honesty of it and just the fun of it. And I knew right then that this was a production that I wanted to be involved with. I get out of the Drowsy Shepherd a lot of experience. My goodness. This is the first show I've done where it's completely presentational, or at least my character, Mrs. Tottendale, is completely presentational. She's very forward out, and I get the experience there for me being a theater major. That's nice, getting that experience, but it's also getting a lot of fun out of the show, working with such a wonderful cast. It's just a party every time we're here. If I can describe Drowsy Chaperone in one word, it's fun. Just completely fun. I know, I've said this eight times already. Fun. It's really, that's what I hope they get. Um, just a fun time. They say it in the script even, that this show is just all about having a good time. It's one of the more um, accessible mainstream shows we've done here in a long time. and. Um, it really, it's just a blast. It's just, the music is wonderful. Um, all of the performers are great. And uh, I just hope they have a great time. It's a unique experience because it's a new musical. And it's not like, oh, big crazy drama. That it's, oh, there's no vil villain. It's just silly the whole time. You don't ever have to be super serious. It's just a whole bunch of fun, but it's contemporary, so you get to take a little bit of the contemporary twist to things too.